Hey there, comic fam. Welcome back to Climbing Comics. In today's sesh, we'll be doing my next installment of comic grading using my Doctor Strange number 169. Hey there again comic fam, welcome back to Climbing Comics. In today's sesh, I wanted to continue with my series of videos to build out a library of grading of different books. Today we'll be doing my Doctor Strange number 169, just like we did before. This video is cut up into three different portions. The first portion, I'll be showing you the book so you guys could do the grades on your own. Secondly will be my assessment and third we'll be asking a, a different question this time. We'll be seeing if we could take the skills that we've learned thus far to see if we could purchase something similar online. If you haven't checked out my previous two videos on grading I definitely recommend to check them out. We checked out my Green Lantern number 55 graded at a 2.0 as well as my Amazing Spider-Man number 33 graded at a 4.5. Please check it out. There's some good resources there where I go over the grade, go online and show you different resources to see if you should either slab or keep a book raw if you're planning on flipping it. Without further ado, let's jump straight into Doctor Strange number 169. Like last time, I'll be using this Grade to Guided Comics by the Overstreet Guide. And I'll be using this rubric where they list out the different um, things I should look for. I copied that over here. For example, spine ticks, foxing, color chips, tears, uh, anything that has to do with staples. I'll be denoting the numbers of each I find. To go along with that, I'll be comparing it against the number of defects allowed per grade. So to help me out, I transpose this into, into this sheet right here, telling me the grades and the number of allowed defects. So first off, I'll be looking for spine ticks, things that cannot be pressed out. I do have a light in this direction, so I can tell if there's any breaks in color or if there's any bends. Looks very glossy. So in terms of spine ticks, I see one, two, three. There's four that's that one's going down. Five, six, seven, eight. I would call that nine. A braided corner, ten. This looks fairly sharp. 
this looks fairly sharp as well. Let's check the back. Again, checking for bends. Oh, you see this one. This can be pressed out. This looks really clean, actually. Uh, there's a little bit of a bend here that could be pressed out. I wanted to check the middle staples, so I put this backing board in the middle. There does not seem to be any rust or bleeding of any sort of colors. I checked all the pages. It looks like there's no missing coupons. The, the color seems to be a little bit of that off-white color uh, throughout these pages. So I would say I would I had found about 10, 10 to 12 defects in this book. So if I come to my Overstreet gate grading guide, for this 10 to 12, I would guess I would put myself in the 6.0 fine range. So in the 6.0 fine range that you see right here, uh, we're allowed 7 to 12 defects. I normally start with a 5.0 looking at the different types of defects and what's allowed, what's not allowed. Looks like we are okay here at a 6.0. Great. Thank you. So tell me your grade below. Just as last time, I wanted to take a look at a couple of resources to make sure we make informed decisions about purchasing comics online. So a couple of resources that I've used are GoCollect and GP Analysis. I've already pre-populated uh, Doctor Strange 169 here to take a look at what a 6.0 would cost if it was slabbed. So a 6.0 slab would probably cost about 250 with most recent sales of 312 and 210. To help triangulate, I also pulled up GP Analysis, Doctor Strange 169. Going down to their 6.0 here, they have a couple of sales most recently this past year with highs of 312 and lows of 190. So this looks to fit right in that sweet spot of the $250 range. If you do not have access to Go Collect or GP Analysis, one other resource is when you look for a Doctor Strange 169 6.0 CGC graded, one thing you could also look for here is things under the completed and sold items. So if you show this, you could see how much things have been sold for most recently. For example, March 8th, 225, March 6th, 250, February 15th, 250. So this definitely is in the sweet spot of Go Collect and GP analysis. When I unfilter these two, when I look for a CGC 6.0, I see that someone is selling this for $399 for a buy it now. I think this is a little bit too much uh, compared to the fair market value. So what I could do here is if I really wanted this book graded at a 6.0, I could message the seller to see if they allow offers to be closer to that fair market value. One thing here I want to make sure of, I did a sweep before with um, Doctor Strange 169 ungraded. I couldn't find any book necessarily in that 6.0 fine range. But just to get, kind of give you guys an idea, if I were to click on something like this at the 230, I would assume maybe this is a fine book. So mousing over here, you kind of take a look at the edges and it doesn't quite look similar to the 6.0 that we booked. Maybe we graded a little bit too conservatively, but I think this is a good way to kind of triangulate and make sure you know what you're purchasing. Of course, next time we'll go over looking at books online and seeing what those grades are, but I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of background as to looking online and figuring out what makes sense. Well, thanks for joining me on this journey. Each time I do these comic book gradings, I'll definitely ask a different question. And if you have questions of your own that you want to let me know about as we go through this comic grading process ourselves, please put that in that comment section below. If you do like this content, please give me that thumbs up, subscribe, and click on that bell icon so you're notified when I come out with new content. From my comic journey to yours, make it your own. Thanks all.
Bye.